What do I love most about this one? No, you read his mouth. Uh, you know, there, well, what I love most about him, I think. Um, and she knows it. He, he's not confusing my answers. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, you know, formulate something really nice here. Uh, I love the fact that he is always there for me. Um, and he is just my rock, and he's like a, a steady figure in my life. So I really appreciate that about him. What I love about Jean, her legs. Okay. You no, know, seriously. Her legs are boobies. There I was saying such beautiful things, and he's my rock, he's so steady, blah blah blah, and then all he can. Typical man! Typical man! Okay, I also love her because she's very chin chai, and she's accepted me for That's true. what I am. I accepted him for what he is. Yeah, and uh, we're on the same wavelength most of the time. We enjoy doing the same things. done for me. Um, you know, Glenn's a very romantic uh, guy, you know, but I always remember this one thing that he did uh, at the very beginning of our relationship and uh, I, I had, um, I still have my bachelorette pad and um, you know, I have, I, I have this area where I'm gonna hang up my clothes to dry and uh, he was like, oh you don't really have, or, what's that you know, crummy looking thing that you have? So one day I came back home and he bought me this beautiful, like, one of those ghost stools, you know, like really nice stools. Stop. Yeah, to like stand, just to like hang my clothes on the outside. Oh, that is such a like a cute gesture. I was like, oh. I know, that was, you know, really sweet. So I thought, I was like, okay, I think this guy's a keeper because he's really looking out for me, even a small little, uh, details which I thought was really sweet. No one's ever treated me like that, so I was like, so cute! Yes. <laughs> Guess I'm a glassy guy. Glassy guy. Hmm, what's the most romantic thing she's ever done? Okay, this was at the start of our relationship as well. I remember it was our first date. We were out clubbing and all that, and I got so drunk, she had to send me home. <laughs> So I woke up in the morning, opened my eyes, and she was there. Yeah. Which means she stayed with me at my house, <laughs> make sure that I was okay the yeah, following that's morning. Right. That's the most romantic, selfless thing anyone has done for me, ever. Really? Yes. I wish, remember? But you've done so many things for me. I, that is true, I have. You know, um, yeah. <laughs> so once again, I'm a lucky guy. What's the most irritating thing about Glenn? Um, the fact that he always thinks he's right. <laughs> you do! He always thinks he's right. He always thinks he's the best answers for everything. Um, you know, he's quite wise in certain things, but not everything, you know what I mean? Well, that's the first time she's ever called me wise. So, in some things, you know. Um, you know and the other next irritating thing is that the fact that he snores. I wear earplugs to see! <laughs> I scare her sometimes, you know. I go behind her and I. Yes! And it just like, you know, shocks me sometimes, but I wear like earplugs to sleep, so I mean that. Really She's a very light sleeper, so I'm sure I don't snore that loudly. But... I recorded him! I recorded him! Like all radio DJs, I had my recorder ready and I recorded him. And uh, yeah, he heard the decibels and he was shocked himself. Uh, Can you tell my snoring really irritates me? Okay, um, frankly, nothing about her irritates me. But, but, okay, just because I'm I'm being picky right now, she said I snore, right? She kind of snores. <laughs> so, um, you know, not quite as loud. Like, you I see, I snore like this. <laughs> and I, I sound like a cappuccino machine sometimes. And, and, and she snores like this. <laughs> I sound like a cat machine. But it's very soft. Doesn't irritate me. Yeah, because but, he's a uh, sound sleeper, 
Yeah, so you know, it, it doesn't wake him up. So, yeah. yeah. She doesn't irritate me. She's Aww. lovely. Aww. You're yeah, squeezing my arm, my arm looks fat. <laughs> So we are getting married next month and uh, maybe yes. um, I want to tell you that you are a very lucky guy <laughs> <laughs> but um, no seriously um, I can't wait to uh, be married to you and uh, yes so I think you're still a lucky guy but uh, I can't wait to be married to you. Okay, so um, the day is approaching, and I, you know, I've always said, you know, I want to be married to you. Uh, you finally said, let's do it. So I'm a really happy man. And I just want to say that I'm a better man now 